welcome back to stories for kids if you are listening this from my podcast don't forget to like and share with your friends and family and if you are watching this in my youtube channel with sudeshna then please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet so let's start our today's first story from panchatantra the first story is the magic hen one day a poor man came up to a farmer and bought a sack of rice in exchange of a hen the farmer's wife was angry when she heard that her husband had parted with a whole sack of rice for an ordinary hen but the next morning the farmer's wife found a golden egg at the place where the hen had roosted during the night the magic hen laid one golden egg every day this went on for several weeks Soon the farmer became the richest man in the village but the farmer's wife was a greedy woman one day when the farmer was not at home she brought a big knife and cut the hen's belly in the hope of getting all the golden eggs at once to her dismay she found that there was not even a single egg inside the hen and there never would be any golden eggs because the greedy woman had killed the magic hen so what did you learn kids that greediness is not good the next story is the vain stag once there was a vain stag the stag often went to a pond to see his reflection and admire himself and said what handsome antlers i have but i wish i had beautiful legs too one day a lion saw the stag the stag ran into the thick forest to escape the lion but his antlers got caught among the thick bush in the forest he thought that his end was near and cursed his antler but with the help of his strong legs he was able to free himself from the branches and just before the lion could catch him the stag darted away on his strong legs the stag then thanked his ugly legs that had saved his life since then the stag never thought of his legs were ugly so what did you learn kids that sometimes we don't even realize that what gift we have received from god and sometimes we complain that we don't have this we don't have that without even realizing that what we have so always try to feel gratitude what you have the next story is a bird in hand there lived a fierce lion in a forest one day the lion spotted a small rabbit playing under a tree nearby the lion following him waiting for a chance to pounce on the poor little rabbit when the rabbit saw the lion he ran for his life but the lion sprang on him and the little rabbit got caught between his powerful paws before the lion could gobble up the rabbit a deer came into the lion's view the greedy lion let the rabbit go and ran after the deer the deer leaped away speedily as the lion chased him and soon disappeared in the forest the lion roused the rabbit and failed to hunt down the deer he cursed himself for letting the rabbit go away it is therefore rightly said that a bird in hand is worth two in the bush so kids what did you learn that you should first cherish whatever you have and then go for the next thing the next story is the swan and the foolish turtle once upon a time a turtle and the two swans were good friends one year there was no rain and the pond they used to drink water from dried up the turtle made a plan he told the swans please look for a stick i will hang on to it with my teeth and both of you hold the two sides of the stick and fly with me to another pond the swans agreed but warned the turtle you have to keep your mouth shut or you will crash the turtle agreed when everything was ready the swan flew off with the turtle on the way people who saw the amazing sight exclaimed look how clever the swans are 
they are carrying a turtle the turtle wanted to tell them that it had been his idea forgetting everything he opened his mouth to speak and fell if only the turtle had ignored what people were saying he would be living safely to the new pond the next story is the deer who played truant one day a doe brought her son to a wise deer and told him oh learned brother please teach my son the tricks to save himself from danger the wise deer agreed to teach him the little deer was very naughty and interested only in playing with the other deer soon he began missing classes and learned nothing one day while playing he stepped on a snare got trapped and was killed when his mother heard the news she broke down the teacher went up to her and said dear sister i feel sorry for what had happened to him i tried my best to teach him self defense a teacher can't do anything if the student is not willing to learn so this is also very important you will have so many options to learn new new things but only if you are ready to learn then only you can learn from everyone from your teachers from your parents from the other elders from your friends or from anyone but you have to be ready to learn the next story is a precious life the bodhisattva was once born as a deer every animal in the forest admired his beauty one day a prince came to hunt the, in the forest this forest is a good hunting ground remarked the prince the prince's eyes fell on the deer and he followed it he was riding on a horse and started riding fast to catch the deer but the deer was faster suddenly the prince's horse fell and the prince was thrown into the nearby river now the prince didn't know how to swim the prince shouted for help the deer heard his cries and helped him out of water seeing that he was saved by the very deer he had wanted to hunt and kill the prince felt ashamed and vowed never to hunt animals again the greedy monkey is the next story once a monkey had the nasty habit of sneaking into people's house and stealing the food The villagers were fed up with the monkey. One day they asked a juggler to trap the monkey. The juggler put a peanut in many earthen jars with narrow necks and placed them on the rooftop of the houses. The next day the juggler saw the monkey with his hand stuck inside one of the jar. The villagers were finally rid of the naughty monkey. When the villagers asked the juggler how he caught the monkey, The juggler said that he knew that the monkey loved peanuts and would put his hand into the jar to grab them with his fist. But the neck of the jar was too narrow for the clenched fist to come out and he knew that the greedy monkey would not open his fist to pull out his hand. Greed led to the monkey's doom. So another learning that greediness is not good for us. So now this is the last story for this episode that is the jackal and the drum once while searching for food a hungry jackal came across an abandoned field where he heard strange sound the scared jackal instantly wanted to run away but he was also curious he thought let me find out what the sounds really are and who is making them i'll go and see where the noise is coming from carefully the jackal tiptoed in the direction of the sound and found a drum there it was the drum that was making the strange sounds whenever the swaying branches of the tree brushed against it realized the jackal relieved the jackal began playing with the drum and thought that there may be food inside it the jackal entered the drum by piercing its side He was dip- disappointed to find no food in it. However, he had rid himself of fear of the drums sound. So with that, I am ending today's session. Thank you for visiting 
and if you want to be part of creative thinking academy the description is mentioned below you can go and register yourself where i read these kind of stories and i play a lot of creative thinking games which actually improves your creative thinking so be part of creative thinking academy because learning should not be boring